Greetings, salutations. Welcome to this Midday Power Surge, Monday, October 26, 2020. This is your spiritual oasis on this pilgrim journey. Safe to Serve International, first time viewers, I greet you as strangers and pilgrims on this earth. Welcome one, welcome all. Friends, I do not want to waste one minute during this presentation. We have a lot to cover. So without further ado, let's get right into this. My opening scripture is going to set the stage, set the tone, the spiritual tone of this midday power surge. Let's take a look at Luke chapter 16 and verse number 8. The Bible says, Jesus said, the children of this world in their generation are wiser than the children of light. I'm going to confirm that throughout this midday power surge. And one great reason is the majority of God's professed people are willingly ignorant of the signs of the times, fulfilling Bible prophecies, and they refuse to prepare spiritually, mentally, financially, physically, and literally. All right. In that same Luke chapter 16, second scripture, I want to bring to your attention. Verse number 27 through verse number 31, Jesus gives an allegory. I want to read this for you. Verse 27, the allegory of the rich man and Lazarus. You could read the rest of it. Verse 27, and he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou would have sent Lazarus to my father's house. Lazarus is dead. The rich man is also dead. Send Lazarus to my father's house. Verse 28, for I have five brethren that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Abraham saith unto him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went from the dead unto them, surely they will repent. And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. The allegory, my friends, Christ was saying to them, the Jewish people rejected him. And even if Christ would return to the Jewish people, the majority of them, after his death, burial, and resurrection, they would still reject Jesus Christ. Why? Because they had Moses. They had the prophets. They had the words of God, the scriptures. And since they rejected Moses rejected the prophets, rejected the Bible and the spirit of prophecy, they would also reject Christ. In this allegory, the rich man was saying, send my five brethren truth from another source. Surely they will accept. Christ said they will not accept. Here is the application now. Are you ready for this? I'm going to play several clips from an influential News anchor, host in Australia, Rowan Dean is his name. He made some startling applications between COVID-19, COVID-19's policies with climate change, things that we have been seeing to awaken God's people for the past several months. I can even say a couple of years now. And I'm simply saying, is this another source to awaken God's people to be prepared physically, mentally, and spiritually? Or are the majority of God's professed people still going to reject God's truth from this other secular source? Take a look at this, my friends. There he is, Roman Dean. And I am praying that probably... You'll believe and prepare if you hear the same truth from another source. 
Look at this clip, my friends. And again, this is not to promote Rowan Dean. All right? I believe the stones are crying out. He said in this first clip, climate change is a new religion. Well, last week I warned of what the leftist elites who parade around the world preaching the new religion of global warming on your tax dollars are plotting for next year. Mm, mm, mm. And friends, he conflated the Green New Deal with the Great Reset. Have you heard of both? The Green New Deal, primarily in America and in, in other countries. The Great Reset is an overarching movement that spans the whole globe. And he also identified the puppet masters. Listen. The so-called Great Reset, a quasi-fascist version of the Green New Deal supported by the World Economic Forum, the International Monetary Fund, the United Nations, and disgracefully stamped with the royal seal of approval of the House of Windsor. Mm, mm, mm. One thing is missing that is of utmost importance is this. Roman Dean did not connect the, the new uh, climate change deal, the, the Green New Deal, Green New Deal, that's the point, the Green New Deal, the Great Reset with Popery. Does he know or is he ignorant so far? Well, let's make the connection. Look at this, my friends. He mentioned the World Economic Forum. Well, the World Economic Forum is also promoting the Global Common Pass with a QR code. I covered that several weeks ago. And that nobody will be able to cross state line, national borders without this global common pass. It's on the screen right there, friends. I covered the global common pass is connected to the global common good. Next quote. And the global common good, common pass, is linked to the Pope, the, the papacies. The popery, same thing. The paper says, global common good. Everybody must have this green QR code. And I shared, it's a counterfeit of what is happening in heaven. How God's angels, as they leave heaven, in order to return and to re-enter heaven's gate, they have to present the golden card. Second quote confirms that, my friends. And all of these policies are making people inconvenient. People are fearful. But as I said before, the puppet masters, the primary one, the papacy, is after one specific group, the remnant. Let's come back, my friends, to Rowan Dean. Here is what he said in the next clip. He says, the goal of the Great Reset and then he said, my friends, he applied that the policies to combat COVID-19 are going to be used to combat climate change. Watch this. Listen. By their own admission, the Great Reset aims to use all the tools of COVID suppression, such as lockdowns, curfews, and enforced business closures, and adapt them to the so-called crisis... Mm of climate change. Friends, sometimes when one source presents the truth with empirical facts, many people reject, and God sends another source and another source so that in the last end, nobody can say they were not warned. They cannot blame or use the excuse, I just didn't like how he presented the truth. God is going to send the same truth from different sources. Have we not been presenting these principles, these facts, current events fulfilling prophecy to awaken, arouse God's people, yet they are slumbering still? This, this satanic induced lethargy upon the church? By the way, Mr. Rowan Dean stated, these were not his words, but the words of the puppet masters. Listen, 
And of course, friends, the audio is not high quality with the volume, but I believe you can still hear. Listen again. He said. Remember, this isn't me saying that we are going to switch from the COVID crisis to the climate crisis. This is them saying it again and again and again. Mm, 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 mm. And then he played one clip, several clips. I will play one clip where the puppet master said, we have to enact the draconian policies we use to combat COVID-19 for the climate crisis. And that we cannot allow this crisis to pass. We may never have another opportunity to do so. Listen and weep. Now is the historical moment, the time, not only to fight severe virus, but to shape the system. We have a unique but rapidly shrinking window of opportunity to learn lessons and reset ourselves on a more sustainable path. It is an opportunity we have never had before and may never have again. So we must use all the levers we have at our disposal, knowing that each and every one of us has a vital role to play. Mm, 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 mm. Rowan Dean went on to say that climate change is a new religion. He said that, friends. This is a secular, no, friends, I say secular source. I don't know the man. And since I don't know the man, Rowan Dean, there's no way I could be promoting him as a person. I'm simply using his rhetoric. God can speak through anyone. Did God speak through a donkey in the Bible? Did God speak through a rooster in the Bible? All right, get back to my point. He said, climate change is a new religion. Later on, he's going to say, climate change is a new cult. He says, all dissenters are not going to be tolerated. In other words, climate change is a new intolerable religion. It will not, in, it, it will not tolerate dissenters. Listen to what he said. Hill, and make no mistake, climate change is a religion gripped by the sort of religious zealotry, self-belief, self-flagellation, rituals, and unblinking intolerance mm. not seen in Christianity since the Dark Ages. Mm. Mm. Wait a minute. The question is, does he see the link? Since he labeled the climate change movement as a new religion that is going to be intolerant to the centers, does he see the link? It, it's a reasonable question. Does he see the link proving this climate change movement is going to lead to a day of worship? But friends, do we see the link? Yes, we do. Do we see the trajectory of this climate change movement? The Pope said Sunday must be enacted to combat climate change. That means those who are dissenters, Sabbath keepers, God's commandment keeping people should not be tolerated. You think that is all? <laughs> Mr. Rowan Dean went on to say, climate change movement, this new cultish religion, he says it is connected to the Inquisition. And notice he mentions Christianity Inquisition. Of course, in quotes, Christian Inquisition. Listen. Indeed, what the religion of climate change has in common with, for instance, the Inquisition, mm. is that belief in the unproven theory that the climate is being altered because of man-made carbon dioxide emissions. Belief in this theory is so fundamental that it supersedes the law. Mm. In fact, it is the law, and only those who believe in this religion will be entitled to determine the law. What? That is the fate of the United States and by extension, the Western world. If Mercy. Friends, did you catch that? Only those who believe and support this new climate change religion are going to be able to, su to, to succeed in society. So those who are dissenters, those who refuse 
to go along with the climate change draconian policies are going to be cut off from society. He said, this is coming not only to the United States of America, but to the entire world. And I stressed world. We have been preaching that not just for the past several months, but for years, decades. Sunday law begins in America, then it goes globally. We have also said the climate change movement is one of such movements to bring about Sunday rest, Sunday worship by law. Can we say the stones are crying out? Now, I'm not sure if Mr. Rowan Dean is talking about the ancient inquisition. I don't know. Ask me a question. Does he know the Roman Catholic inquisition? By the way, uh, the etymology of that word inquisition historically is connected to Roman Catholicism. Does he know that the inquisition's board is still in existence today? If not, here it is. If he does know, here it is. And for those first-time viewers who are ignorant, here it is. There it is on the screen, my friends. Roman Catholic Inquisition. And remember, they said, Roman Catholics, the death penalty can be enacted for the common good Inquisition. It's called the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith. There it is, my friends. I want to give a small disclaimer here. All right, friends, Roman Dean seems to support Trump over Biden. However, listen to his conclusion. After he played a verbal exchange between Kamala Harris and Judge Senator Harris and Judge Amy Barrett as Joe Biden's running mate, Kamala Harris, the senator, was uh, interrogating, for lack of a better word, Judge Amy Barrett on, the, on Congress's floor. Listen what Mr. Rowan Dean said next. Friends, listen. So there you have it. If Biden and Harris... So he just played the clip. Listen to this now. So there you have it. If Biden and Harris enter the White House... Only those who believe in the new religion of climate change will have any place in our brave new world. Mm, to wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, remember, we believe it doesn't matter which party is in power, Democrats or Republicans, two wings of the same fowl. Does that make sense, my friends? Oh, yes. So don't get caught up in politics. But again, these men in the world don't expect them to see all the points based on prophecy. They can only see so far. God needs us as Bible-believing Christians. God needs us as prophetic students. God needs us, SDA faithful people, to enlighten the world. Revelation 18, 1 through 4. All right. Those who refuse to go along with this climate change religion will be cut off from society. Have we not been quoting that? From Revelation 13, verse 15 through 17, it begins in America, then it goes globally. Have we not been quoting the desire of ages, page 121, in the last great controversy between Satan and God's people, Satan and Christ, between Sabbath and Sunday, God's commandment keeping people will then experience, will then face, will then realize every thing in this world will be cut off. What, Hillary? Every earthly support will be cut off. Listen again, friends. So there you have it. If Biden and Harris enter the White House, only those who believe in the new religion of climate change will have any place in our brave new world. Mm. To even dare debate any 
of the fundamentalist dogma of climate change is to brand yourself a heretic. You have been warned. You have been warned. If you don't go along with the climate change religion, religion, my friend, does religion have worship? Yes, that's what's called religion. Sunderess, if you don't go along with the climate change religion, Sunderess by law, look at Laudato Si, the Pope's encyclical, point number 237, it's Sunderess by law, you will be branded as a heretic, friends, heretic has its origin in a religion, heretic, it's clear my friends, paganism, the word heretic is in the Bible. Heretic. Then it went on to Roman Catholicism. Does it make sense, my friends? This is where we are. And that's why I believe the stones are crying out. Am I telling you now to sit at the feet of Mr. Rowan Dean and accept everything he says, hook, line, and sinker? My friends, please. Do not be silly. That's not what I'm saying here. All right, friends? But we are seeing people are, people are realizing where these movements are tending. Luke chapter 19, verse number 39. When Christ's disciples were told, they could not proclaim God's word publicly. Master, tell your disciples to be quiet. What did Christ say in verse 40? I tell you. If these should hold their peace, if my people, SDA people, should hold their peace, even the stones would immediately cry out. Are they crying out, my friends? Yes, they are. Look at the screen again. They are crying out. And friends, remember we are told in the spirit of prophecy, signs of the times. May 6th, 1897, we are told, my friends, that force is the last resort of every false religion. Climate change movement is a false religion, and the primary false religion is Roman Catholicism. Again, I ask the question, are the stones crying out? Yes, they are. Yet God's professed people are hush-hush. Be quiet. Induced lethargy. Asleep. Dumb dogs. Isaiah chapter 56. And verse number 41 of Luke 19. When Christ beheld the city, the Bible says he wept. Who was he weeping for and weeping over? His sleeping church. Then verse 42 to verse 44. The Bible says that Christ gave a warning. Before you go to bed tonight, read that warning. Husbands, read that warning. Fathers, mothers, wives, read that warning. Apply it to your household. Yes, friends. Read that warning. Young people, read that warning. It's time for self-examination. All right, my friends, take a look at this. That's why we're told in Great Controversy, page 610. While many of our rulers are active agents of Satan, red words on top, blue words, there are some statesmen who fear God and are influenced by holy angels to oppose satanic propositions, red words, thus a few men will hold in check a powerful current of evil. For what purpose? Blue words. Last phrase, that the third angel's message may do its work. Then we are told, my friends, when the final warning shall be given, some of them, and I'm praying for Mr. Ruan Dean, some of them will accept present truth, stand with God's people through the time of trouble. All right, friends, are the stones crying out? Yes. Now, let me close with this point. What Mr. Rowan Dean was talking about, the policies to combat COVID-19, will be used 
to address climate change. Look what's happening in Europe. Look at that, my friends. Spain declares, Spain declares, new state of emergency set to last until May 2021. You think about that, my friends. To trample upon your rights. Spain, Italy impose, not only Spain, Italy, Europe and Spain are immersed in a second wave of the pandemic. Red words, the situation we are living in is extreme. As a result, we need extreme measures, policies, restrictions. That's where we are, my friends. And that's why I said to you, do you remember... This past Sabbath, I shared with you, my friends, in the first wave combating uh, COVID-19, they said, we must roll out contact tracing, right? The contact tracing were primarily for businesses. Do you think things are getting better? No, they're getting worse. The policies are becoming more intrusive, invasive, yay, abusive. Now, Contact tracing for private residents and residences where people live. Look at the screen. Not in Europe, in America. There it is, my friends. The host in every home. If you have a group of people, you must take names and contact information for everyone who comes to your home. Private gatherings, and the gatherings cannot exceed two hours. Is this a threat on home church? Home Bible studies, home churches. Yes, my friends. If you have Bible studies at your home, home churches, that host must get the contact information and turn those names over to whom? Turn the contact info over to whom? The government. Is this not... A repetition of the ancient papal inquisition. Yes, friends, we are here. We are here, my friends. That's why we are told in volume 5, page 451, in America first and globally, they will trample upon every principle of our constitution and make provision for papal falsehoods and delusions. Sunday worship by law. Then we may know the end is near. Is the end near, my friends? Volume 5, page 452. Are we living in the last days? That's the first sentence. Look at the second sentence. Those who have been warned of the events before them are not to sit in calm expectation of the coming storm comforting themselves that the Lord will shelter his faithful ones in the day of trouble while men are sleeping. Sleeping church. While men are sleeping, Satan is actively arranging matters so that the Lord's people may not have mercy or justice. Look at the illustration, my friends. God's professed people are trying to silence the wake-up call, to silence the alarm. The Bible says, blow the trumpet in Zion, sound an alarm. That's Joel chapter 2. But God's professed people are trying to silence the trumpet, silence the alarm. They want to muzzle the alarm. Put on a mask. Mutter the alarm. Yes, friends. The Sunday movement is making its way in darkness. Come on, friends. All right, friends. I'm going to close right here. Are we heading to a time of storm? Psalm 61 is a closing scripture. Verse 1 says, Hear my cry, O God. Attend unto my prayer. Are you going through fiery trials? Are you going through a time of agony? A time of woe? 
in the family, in the marriage, health issues, financial issues. Hear my cry, O God. Attend unto my prayer. We have come to midday power surge. Verse 2. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Do you feel overwhelmed sometimes? Many times. What are we to do? When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. What is that rock? Who is the rock? It's Jesus. What is that rock? It's the word of promises. Put some pep in your step. Prayer, endurance, patience. Yes, my friends. That's it. And then with a song. Why? Song is a weapon we can always use against discouragement. Verse number 8. So will I sing praise unto thy name. Put some pep in your step with a song. Prayer, patience, prayer, endurance, patience, my friends. Look at verse 3. For thou hast been a shelter for me. And a strong tower from the enemy. What song comes to your mind? What hymn? For thou hast been a shelter for me. What song comes to mind? Hillary? A shelter in the time of storm? Send in your prayer requests. The prayer team is waiting. Christ is waiting in the most holy place of the heavenly sanctuary. shelter in the time of storm secure whatever may be tied a shelter in the time of storm mighty mighty